Hello, my friends, and welcome to MB Shoe Dot, where we discuss all things shoes. We will be covering the art of patina and shine and learn to breathe new life into old shoes. So grab your dyes and polishes and get ready to get your hands dirty. And let's dive right into today's project. Right, got a new emerging brand to introduce to you today, Lathato. They are made in New Delhi, India, but they are using Italian leather and Argentinian leather for the soles. Let's take a look here. And the first thing I'll kind of point out that the box you know, is a little bit, a uh, little roughed up, a little bent up. Um, it didn't didn't arrive in the best uh, shape here, but you know that's going to happen sometimes with shipping. So you know, don't really hold that against them too much. That that can happen with a nice, uh, pretty pretty solid uh, plastic shoehorn. The shoes did come in a shoe bag. Feels like a kind of a thin, maybe a cotton uh, shoe bag here. Looks like within the shoe bag they are individually wrapped. Just kind of a, a thin little little bag here. Let's take these out and have a look. I will say that this is really, really thin. I actually tore it uh, on the heel of one of these, taking it off. So here's the shoe. So this is a chuck boot in their green. Patina. A pretty bold patina here, you will see. Take a look at that. Now, these have a leather sole with a thin kind of commando sole, almost like a toppy, added on. See here, just a thin little bit of that uh, commando sole. That should do well, um, you know, extend the life of these. This is a Blake stitched model. So they do have, you know, uh, some stitching on the welt here that's not real stitching. So that is a fake uh, stitched welt. The actual stitching is here, and you can see that that is further in than the stitching here. They don't match up. So this is further inbound. So what that tells you that this is the real uh, stitch. This is going through the sole and also through the insole and that's how the Blake stitch uh, sole works. So uh, decent feeling laces here on these. Got the little uh, golden aglets on the end of the lace. You know I think that's uh, a nice touch. I think it looks uh, nice. The only negative is that if you want to change out the laces, well, this isn't going to pull through the, uh, the eyelet, so you'd have to take these off. Um, there is a small little set screw here holding that on, so you know it's nice that you've got that option of being able to remove this. Uh, that would just be a little pain to do with a screwdriver, but uh, I will not be looking to change out the laces. Overall, you know, I'll tell you the leather on the, the uppers, you know, it feels fine. Um, it doesn't feel feel bad. Um, feels pretty soft. I wouldn't say that it feels like a real high quality leather, but I think it's kind of a you know medium quality leather. A couple things I'll point out that I notice yeah, right in here. You know, I feel like some of the patina has rubbed off. Right here, some of the patina is rubbed off. Now I believe this is probably just from shipping. Same here, uh, probably just from the shoes, you know, rubbing inside the box like this, rubbing on each other. But you know that does give me some concern about the, the longevity of the shoe. Yeah, my fear is that that the patina hasn't really. You know, soaked into the leather too well. It might be a little bit more on the surface, and it's possible that that's going to to wear out. 
The uh, lining on this is interesting. So it doesn't feel like a, a high quality leather, um, but it does feel pretty soft. Uh, some good padding on the on the insole at the bottom too. So yeah, a pretty thick uh, lining here, but it does feel very uh, very padded. So I think that's going to be pretty comfortable. Toe shape, you know, it's a nice rounded uh, toe shape. I think that looks good on a chuck a boot like this. The stitching on the top, it you know, it's pretty. It's not a real high stitch density. It's a low stitch density, but I don't see any you know, miss stitches or anything like that. Nothing that I would call any kind of a defect here on the stitching. It's got the uh, pull tab. Uh, that feels okay. So overall, you know, I think this is a, a you know, decent boot. The cost is $199. We'll have to see how these fit and feel and hold up. You know, I think $200 is an okay price. My feeling is that they probably should be priced a little bit less than that. You know, maybe more like $150, $175 range. Just because Meerman, you can get a Meerman boot for, you know, $10 more that's good, you're welted, and it feels a little bit more substantial. The patina, uh, the coloration, Again, kind of feel just okay about it. I feel like it, the pattern is a little bit too streaky. You know, it kind of looks like a watermelon. Uh, I think they could have blended this a little bit better, made it a little bit smoother. So it's just that patina style. Now, if you like that patina style, then uh, you might be very, very happy with these. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna look at shining them up, and we're gonna check these areas where it's kind of scuffed up. Will the color come right back with conditioning lotion, or is that going to be a problem? Is the color going to come off on these? We're going to find out here shortly. All right, we are back. Let's use a little bit of pure polish, cleaner conditioner on these. Let's see how it does. So I'm just getting a little bit. This is just a cut up t-shirt I'm using as a cloth. Let's address these areas where it's kind of scuffed up here. So this is my concern. You see how much black has come off. So, you know, like I said, you know, my, my initial feeling is that this, uh, this patina looks like it could be kind of fragile. Now, is it the leather? Is it the dyes used? You know, I don't know, but it's a little bit more color transfer than I'd like to see. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to switch up. We're going to go with a different uh, conditioning lotion and let's see what happens with that. So this was the Pure Polish. I like this conditioning lotion, but I will admit that it has, you know, when I do patina projects, this conditioning lotion does tend to remove more dye. Now that's usually just at, you know, right after I've dyed the shoe, before I've condition it, usually afterwards it's much more stable. But uh, Pure Polish does tend to remove some color on patina shoes, so we're not going to be too overly concerned with this right now. It does look like it's soaked into the leather well, and eh, maybe lessened that appearance of that scuff mark a little bit, but I would say not entirely. Let's let that one sit. We're going to switch. We're going to do the other shoe with Saphir Renovateur. You know, when starting this video, I really didn't have any intention of uh, doing a Saphir versus Pure Polish Conditioning Lotion, but, you know, when I saw that color coming off, uh, you know, it kind of popped into my head. This might be a, a good chance to do this. So, using a little bit of Saphir Renovateur, this boot had the same thing, a little scuffed up area. I'm going to 
try to apply you know, the same amount, the same amount of pressure. I'm trying to do everything basically the same as I did on the other boot. Let's see what happens here. I'm getting some color coming off, but it is less. So not as much color transfer. And I'll say that that is what I found on my patina projects as well. When I use Big Four on a shoe, it removes the least amount of dye. Renovateur removes a little bit more. Pure Polish removes a little bit more still. So that's something kind of good to know. You know, for any of you patina uh, artists out there, if you want to lighten the color on something, you could use that pure polish. It's going to remove more of the, the dye. And if you really want to keep everything looking exactly the same, don't want to change the patina at all, use Bic 4 and uh, kind of the Renovateur fits somewhere in between those two. So I went over the whole boot, it did remove a little bit of color, but if you compare, this was Renovateur, this was the Pure Polish. This definitely removed a little bit more color, a little more color transfer. Again, not a big deal, it didn't mess up the shoe or the boot in any sort of way, um, but it did, did pull off a little bit more color. I'm going to pause it there. We'll brush both of these off and see how they look. And I'm probably not going to go for a full mirror shine on this pair. This is Pure Polish High Shine Wax. But we'll add a little, little shine to the toe here. A little on the heel, partially for the shine, but partially for protection too. Just where that uh, patina was kind of rubbing off, and this is the most likely scuff area. So, put a little bit of wax on this, kind of protect that area, and it shines it up too. So, double win. So here we are, shined up, cleaned up, and again, didn't go quite full mirror shine on them, but they did, you know, take polish well, they shined up nicely. So again, overall, I think it's a, an attractive boot. I think the, you know, nothing uh, really unique about the design. You know, it's a kind of a typical chuck of design, but I think it's very nicely uh, executed shape here with these. Um, actually, you know, on the toe shape, it's kind of nice how it kind of tapers down here right at the end. So it has got a little bit of a, a shape to the toe and where they stopped the patina right along this, this edge kind of accents that. So I think that's nice. Again, the patina to me is just a little bit uh, bolder than, than what I would like if the the streaking was just slightly more faded. I think that would look nicer. Um, I'll just try them on and see how they do, but I think, again, the, the construction is fine. The, um, the leather seems, uh, it seems to be decent quality leather, and for the price, so $199 with free shipping. So I think that is an okay price. I don't think it's a screaming deal. I think for $10 more, I think Meerman is a little bit more uh, solid construction, but if you like this bold patina look, Meerman doesn't have this. You're not going to get this from Meerman. In fact, I don't know where you would get uh, a bold patina like this for the cost. I don't think you can. So if this is kind of the look that you wanted, then you know this is certainly a brand that you may want to consider. So I'm actually going to put these on right now and wear them, and we'll see if I have anything more to say after that. Mm -hmm.